Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Throne of Bone, the auto battle of a roguelike that I'm excited to be back to here today. We have ourselves the Dread Knight here. Combat start, kill a friendly minion, then deal magic damage equal to its attack to an unprotected enemy. I gotta be honest, it seems, compared to the other ones, quite bad. Uh, but we'll just have to see. I mean, this is an interesting, I guess, character to test it out on. When it dies, at least summon something. So there's there's that. We don't get the pick or what? Combat start, kill a friendly minion. We don't have a choice on if it happens, so it will happen for sure, regardless. But I guess if we only have one, it just picks automatically. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, so it does damage equal to its attack. I'm really going to be banking on us getting... Oh, God. The ability to choose here. But I, I have a feeling it will be one that is a little bit trickier to handle. Okay, thank God. All right. I was going to say, if we can't even pick who dies, this character is actively a challenge character. But that, that does help a little bit. Increase your magic mastery by one. I don't even know how much we're going to care about magic mastery, right? Like, ugh. Other minions have one health. Attack if I kill. I don't know. Because, yeah, magic mastery will increase the damage it does by one. Which is not that big of a deal. Whenever a friendly spell triggers, I get plus one, plus one this combat. Oh, boy. It's an idea. Combat starts. Combat start. I think we're going to either be going for, like, on death effects or, or hoping that we find, like, the combat start effects trigger again. And maybe doing something with that or both. Because... I don't know, man. I think we're going to leave these separate. I think we need the units badly. Boop. Oh, we do get a pick. Okay. Okay, we get to pick the target, but it does have to be uh, an unprotected enemy. So there's that, I suppose. Nothing bad in the early game here, but compared to the the last couple characters, those early games were nuts. Whenever you reroll, random one gets a shield. It's very good. Give a minion plus one plus one this combat for every related minion. Could be good. Summon three blights, get a random level three spell. I think let's do that. Oh. Pretty, uh... Pretty simple stuff there. Get a little bit of a combine. Target minion gets a shield. Oh, this is this is weird. I actually don't really want to do it because I'm going to sell this guy and you are not sticking with us. I'll go for zombies. Support, you get a free reroll. Whenever a related minion takes damage or loses a shield. Yeah, I'm... Definitely struggling to figure out what we're going to really want here. See, like, this isn't even helpful, really. Yeah, this isn't even good. This is kind of what I was talking about. It's like, okay... I'll do this just in case the three damage unit attacks over here. That way it does at least get the kill. We're getting through the early game just fine because, well, the early game's not hard, so. Rogues and mages, reapers and blights. Improved and perfected minis get plus three, plus three. I could see that being useful. I think I'll go for the magic mastery. As much as, like, do I care a lot? No. Not really. Uh, it feels... 
pretty cut and dry in this team's favor, but RNG's RNG. I don't actually. I don't even think RNG. I, I think there was a maybe a zero percent. <clears throat> So improved minion, you obviously get the upgrade there. Combat start apply poison. The reason I would grab that would just be to get this spell. Whenever a friendly minion makes a bonus attack, give it plus one plus one permanently. Uh sure. Okay, maybe maybe uh maybe bonus attacks are our thing. Could, could be. When summon, learn to level one spell. I don't like any of this. Congrats, have some health. <clears throat> I could combine and... It's not going to really change. It doesn't change the passive. Yeah. Okay, so we do at least get to kill the backline there. That's kind of nice. We're obviously fine. We maybe would have even been okay if they both in the front were the uh, the big boy hero boys. Sure. Just for the plus ones. I'll go for the extra money. Okay. Plus three health to somebody. I'll go for you. I, I might be able to get some value out of that sucker. And we'll just sell these next turn, I think. Yeah. Unless we want to sell, sell, and buy the, uh, the Nether Warden. Improved and perfected minions getting plus three is is helpful. Love that. Love that. Alright, these sneaky backline attacks. The free sneaky backline attacks are quite helpful. We have this, but it, it's it's very clear that this is um it's so clear that this is the worst character so far. And it's not it's not close. All right, I think I'd like to... I think I'd like to keep you guys separate to try and build up your attack. Oh, it's a tight one, though. You could buy those and combine, but I think it's a waste. Whatever related minion dies through three magic damage to a random enemy. I don't have a whole lot of related. You're really good. You're like... You're, like, too good, if I'm going to be honest, maybe. But, oh, I'm struggling to find literally anything here that I want. That's not a good sign. Okay. Extra plus one health for everybody. Summon a related minion, get one health permanently. Neighboring minions get an attack. Ay, ay, ay. Allies get plus one attack. But yeah, like the, the hero power of the last one was like the first time in the shop, everybody you buy in the end is getting like 16, 16. This is kill one of your guys and hope that somebody in the front line wants to take that damage. Maybe we can get something else. Whenever a friendly minion is damaged for the first time, every combat makes a bonus attack. That has obvious synergy. Whenever a friendly minion attacks, it gains attack equal to your magic mastery. Is interesting too. Uh, this is really good, but we've been dealing with it. So let's let's go for Stoke Rage. Whenever you reroll, gain health permanently. I do like that. Combat start, increase your magic mastery by the highest level of monk. Oh, that's been changed. That has been changed.
Defenders skip their attack, but will still deal damage when attack. That probably means you can't make a bonus attack. I would take an educated guess. Whenever you summon a friendly minion, combat start, I make a bonus attack if I die. Yeah, we, I mean, we want you. You're, you're really good. Whenever a related minion attacks, uh, we don't have that many related. But yeah, we, we obviously want you. I think we're done with you. We can explode somebody else, but the question is just like, why would I want to explode somebody on my squad? It's just not very... Yeah, like right now, I, I'm going to consider it a uh, an active penalty. I think I'm going to need the, the re-rolls just to get something good. Whenever a related minion takes damage or loses a shield, give it an attack. I mean, the Peacekeeper is so good. I do just kind of want it every time, but like I, I don't want to just take the same thing every time. So who am I blowing up? I don't want to blow up anybody. Okay. Sure. Okay. We're making our free little bonus attacks. And then we get to make another bonus attack. So we're going to get a lot of attack damage by the end of this. But as many probably know, uh, attack damage is not the only thing in this game. But these this combo is interesting. I definitely think we have something. Guaranteed spirit in every shop. The first slot attacker is sneaky and shielded. Gets plus one, plus one. I think I like that. Though, the mastery. There's nothing wrong with barracks. Not much right with it either. It's just, it kind of just is a thing. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for secret tunnel. It's usually this side. Mm. It's very close. All right, now we have to do this tussle. Yeah, I just really don't like... I don't really like making this sacrifice here. I do like we gain a permanent attack whenever anyone on our team gets hit. Ever. So, like, if we can find a good way to ramp up everybody's HP, we're getting it really stupid with it. And we're, we're wanting those to be separate. Because they are gaining a bunch of stats, and when they combine, those stats are going to go together. Thank God for the free reroll. Maybe. God, I wish I had a really good related build. You gain a bunch of health. I'm not even... Con I, I don't know. I'm not fully convinced that there's even somebody that I'm looking for right now, you know? Don't have a lot of related. Wait, what's this? When I die, add my attack and health to another random related minion. This comment. Okay. That's the first thing that's something. Uh, if I get money, what do I do with it? Nothing. Oh, it doesn't combine. What the hell? Range after related minion attacks. Uh, yeah, this is this is our 
This is our thing. Attacks normally, after they normally attack. So we're actually going to move these up front, I think. Because we want these ones to be the freebies. Okay. Skeletons and rogues. That's so good. And it, the fact that he's a ranged minion. That's what it's about, man. What is this? This is new to me. Dragon. Dies do one damage to all enemies. Sure. We're just going to proc that shield. So that... Okay. Interesting. 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 Attack, double my attack this combat. Could be good. Combat start, give... Rel Ooh, okay. This could be good. You're a tier 5, so I can't get you yet. This related, improved, or perfected minions. So... It's nothing yet. Uh, oh, it's nothing yet. God dang, man. Okay. I could give you guys the upgrade. I could just also get uh, just a whole nother one. And I could leave them separate in, in gaining stats, but apparently their stats aren't combining. Which is odd. For them to gain more stats per hit, they gotta be tier 4. Um, the question on this is, do you upgrade yourself, I wonder? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, this is better monetary value. This, But this is better. Oh, God. It is tricky. I'm, I'm upset by this. Oh, not what I was hoping for. Okay. Skeletons everywhere get a health. Defender. I do want you. I'd have to sell... I mean, I could sell the Skull Juggler just to... Get another thing online here. Rogues everywhere get an extra attack. Yeah. So I don't know how much we're going to be able to get you guys to actually attack normally. We're going to want to go for a rogue build. Because these need to live their first, like their entire first setup and then do an actual normal attack. It's just unlikely. Oh, man. It's just, yeah. We don't want to hit these. Okay. At least not with the first thing. Okay. Now we're going to start doing our normal attacks, maybe? Yeah. I... There's a freebie. It might... Yeah. It might get to be something eventually, but it's just... It's, it's very finicky. We need to get rogues in there. God. That's... That's... Helpful. It's a rogue. We get absolutely screwed over by, like, a backline smackdown, but... It's probably fine. I really, I wish we just didn't have this passive. I can't really, I, I have to just work around it. It's just not helping us. And I need another one of you so that this guy can start upgrading those. That's the other thing I'd want. Boy, I just... Uh... It's just all very awkward. 
I don't even know why I sold the other one, but we have the two. Now we need to buy something else here. Add my attack and health to a minion in front of me. Okay. When another related minion dies, so it's going to be like hopefully these, I guess, per se. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I need to kill somebody better, though, to even, like, for this to be worth it. But we do have a bunch of shields. But then it's also like, well, why am I killing anything at all? It's a great question. There we go. Oh, my shields! The You actually have me pretty good there. We're so dead. It's just like, it's not even funny how bad this setup is for us. Okay. Man. I mean, cool. Rogues gaining health is appealing. But yeah, killing that dragon's fire thing actually killed our shields and thus probably toasted us. I need you upgraded. I need you upgraded so bad, it's not even funny. Do I do that for the upgrade? Can I handle it? I don't know. I think I'm going to need the help. Annoyingly, this happens before the munch ability. Or the munch, like, I, I kill first before these would upgrade. Oh, God. Okay. All right. At the start of my turn, deal one damage to all enemies. When I first lose a heart, I wake up. Okay. Okay, we actually should do pretty good against this, depending on how scary you are. Oh, we 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 love this. We we love this fight. We we could do a thousand of them. That that is not a thing that is scary for us. If a friendly minion dying triggers an ability, trigger it twice. Do you guys wait? Do you guys like to die though? I mean, recent. I don't think that that. Oh yeah. Combat start. Your minions get plus one, plus one permanently. I'm actually doing that. I'm just gonna hope that we can scale like crazy. All right. So we're looking for skeleton or. Okay. So oops, I clicked out of my window. This is actually really good. We want this. Question is, what else do we care about? I think we want money. Even over the Magic Mastery, that thing is just not anything for us. There really should be more of these. I feel like you could take... You should take, um... Games that were really close. That, like... I don't know. I don't know. There's... That... It's hard to say. Maybe just take, like, fan submissions or something. Because there, there needs to be more for that. That's just all there is to it. Okay, the fact that this can upgrade pumpkins now is, is actually huge. It's huge. So that upgrades you and you also now. Do we combine them? Yeah, it just, it just makes sense too. Oh, when it dies, summons your stor storage minions onto the battlefield, I think is something we can work with, kind of. Combat starting attack my health and attack equal to the greatest among related minions. It's really good. Abomination is just a, is a, it's fantastic. My storage minions suck for the, for the time being, but we could just change that. Okay. Finally. But. We're going to sell, sell next turn.
Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, this is uh, this is a bad one for us. Wait. Oh, because this happens before literally anything else. Okay. Maybe it's not a bad one for us. Okay, I do have to kill something. Did you proc? Oh, did you proc? I don't know if you proc'd. Let's be a little... Let's be a little weirdo. Oh, God. I don't know if it did, so... Okay. The fights are over before this guy even gets to go. That's what's so weird. I'll take the magic mastery. Alright, annoyingly... We have to sell two of those before that gets to even go. Are you just better? Such good stats. How often are related minions dying? I guess pretty often. Yeah, pretty often. Everything here is related in one way or another. Except for you and you. That's the only bummer. If I could if I could have bridged this gap, I think we could have made something extra crazy. Oh, this wait, this helps our bench too. I didn't realize that. Okay, good. Alright, this whole mess. Okay. It actually ends up... Yeah, it ends up working pretty well. You're not... I'm basically waiting because you're not upgraded at the very least. Then you do your ability. The board is just... We have a, such a weird problem. The board is gone before any of our stuff hap like happens to do anything. I don't really care about upgrading you. Sorry. It's not it's not bad. I do need somebody to sacrifice. I don't really want to kill you to get the gourd heads or whatever. The crow collar's not a bad one. I am now without uh, bench space. If I combine these, I lose the other stuff. Yeah. You know what? We gotta get the health. It's too good. Okay, we are gonna want another one of those. But is something worth selling for it? We're gonna want to combine you. I want this, too. Shielding is just good. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the... I'm gonna take the L for one turn. Even with my free reroll there. I, I, I'm gonna take the L for one turn. Cut. The bonus attack attack that him at scale like is definitely quite goofy. Yeah, that guy dies, it's fine. Uh you still don't upgrade, you don't upgrade. Alright. On garden. Man. Yeah, we, we kind of wish the enemies were healthier. It's a weird problem with this build. Where the ceiling is obscene. 
but we're just obviously not going to be getting there. You have a lot of... You have a really good ceiling. Oh, that's right. Well, I do want you still. We might as well keep you and we'll just munch you next turn. Or uh, obviously we want to combine you to get the double. I don't know what your double upgrade is even going to look like. I'm sitting on so many three out of four combos. I don't want to combine these because they it doesn't change the passive to, uh, to four until you upgrade it twice. And you, it's kind of just like, I need, my storage is not bad. Like it's, it's really good already. So I should probably just put him in. Commissart, kill I mean, it's you, I guess. Oh, so we have to actually do a, this a little bit more, a little bit more legit. Not much more legit. Because we don't start off with the free basic attacks. Okay. So now, see, that's the that's what the problem was. The problem was just we had a um, a zone where this guy couldn't uh, really play. Cool. Poison mastery, friendly health, give him any shield. This is the most usable of all of those abilities. We want the storage slot. It really is. I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be real. I'm probably not gonna use any of these, am I? It's this, if anything. XP. We are kind of getting there already. It's the skulls and the storage that I care about. So I think I might just go for this and say that I'm just not gonna be. I'm probably not ever gonna spend three skulls on a force of will, anyways. So I'll have a completely useless invoke because I think that the invokes are are kind of bad currently. I don't know. Rip, 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 rip. Yeah, even when the RNG goes absolutely night nightmarish, that side wins. But there has to be more of those, otherwise it just feels weird that they exist at all. All right, that's really good. You're not bad. Free roll. Okay. But you're good too. Sure. I think we maybe just leave them separated. This this is a bit sketchy. I mean, I do like that we could get a kill the back line, but yeah, we don't like. Ooh, we don't like these high statted lads. We're not going to win very many second hits. Which does mean this guy gets to play at the very least. He's not protected anymore. Our bench is going to slowly get statted up as well. This is good. But I kind of want to do like a little bit of a... I mean, I don't know, man. It just feels hard to beat. Like, I actually, yeah, I like this better than the three because then we can sell it, you know? And look at that. Look at these guys. They're on our bench. They're they're kind of come out to play too. 
it's maybe worth it just like it's almost worth it to lock just for you. Oh, oh, we do have to kill our own lads. That's not helpful. Mm, we might, we might not have this one. It depends how these go. Okay, not good. All right, we we went absolutely. We actually got really good targeting RNG there. Really good targeting RNG. Wow, 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 wow. The range units hitting the um, the ones that gain the huge attack. Such good RNG. It's crazy. Resummon a minion. Related minions is plus one plus permanently. When your highest attack minion dies for the first time, resummon it. Okay. That gives us a reason to actually use that ability now. Do I combine those? I don't know if I combine them down. We could do some skeletal dragon garbage. There's nothing wrong with it right now. That's what I want more than anything, but I'd have to sell one to use. So we'll just, I think we'll just lock it. Oh god! Oh god! The first time your highest attack minion dies, resummon it. The f when your highest attack minion dies for the first time each combat, resummon it. I'm trusting you. Okay. That, that has now finally looped around to become pretty decent. Oh, we hate. Oh, we hate inter interparty conflict here. Really not good for us. But we're coming out on top. The range units quite helpful. Uh... Okay. Now we're about to start our uh, our normal stuff. I should move you back. Uh-oh. Okay, they're all gone. They're all gone. Now we just now we play normal. Now screw you, basically. Four of ten. A ten charge do twenty magic damage to all enemies. I mean, we wouldn't even really care. It's coming. Okay, buddy. Pretty much always gonna just go money here. Alright, um. Now, this is a little bit odd. I think we'll just end up doing this. We'll keep all the, the shielding going on all of you. Alright. Works for me. I mean, we should. This actually. we. This should be a joke. Right? Oh! What the hell? The... the boss has been changed. Uh-oh. Maybe this is not a joke. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. We're gonna get screwed by something at the late game, aren't we? The final boss was just a weird stat check that, like, most builds could handle. But there were going to be some... Okay. There were always going to be some situations that would be a problem. Like, some builds just... Their worst fear is a guy with really good stats. Didn't he have... He had 500 HP, though, right? 
When I take magic damage, gain a shield. It doesn't matter. I've never seen this. This stuff. I mean, I'm happy to see my guys actually get to, to play out their full turn. Okay. Yeah, we're not even... We're not even starting to get to the point where... Um, we would see you do your thing. All right. Throne is yours. And surely it will win against my uh, previous best rival. Oh. This is not my previous best. Uh, I do not think we have a chance against it. We keep on making something that gets hard countered. Uh, by like, just specifically like the last thing we did. Oh, it did kind of, it didn't rely, well, okay, it relied on a special combo that's not going to be relevant here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're very toast. I can't kill you. These have shields. It's the biggest thing with a shield that we can really go for here. Oh, wait, okay. It does kind of like utilize the passive. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're 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 going to have to get have some really good RNG here. Okay. That's that helps. If they were related minions to this, then maybe we would have something. But it's just Oh god, it's it's just it's actually it's actually just really close. It was actually really close, all things considered. But yeah, I feel like this character is my my first hunch. Uh, I think is accurate. We found a thing that made its ability useful once, but it was just fine at when it at perfect in the perfect magic Christmas land. It was fine. Right? Like you saw in that final boss, a shield. A shield ruins it. I feel like if it could have one change, like that, if that damage could go through shield, I don't know. Sure. Or like, I don't know. It just needs something else. It needs something else. Or, you know what would, what would make it better? Doesn't matter if it's a protected enemy or not. How about that? Just deal the magic damage to any enemy. It needs it needs a buff. It's I I have I have no interest in ever playing this character ever again in this current interpretation. Every single other character, I'm like, like even the bone collector whose ability is really basic, it's just really good. It's it's econ. This is a good Mario character in the sense that like, is he's not bringing anything unique to the table. He's just a good character no matter what build you want to go. You're going to be getting value. Uh, this one, like, gaining HP across the board. Like, this lets you go for a little bit more of an aggro approach and you're not going to be punished for it. Like, you can do what we did, sort of did today uh, and not be punished for it. Like, was the build we had today, like, bad? De it was definitely not bad. We made that work. But it had nothing to do with the Dread Knight. And often, I was running a literal, like, a dead unit. Like, a, a unit that I just... I don't know. We could have done, done the... Um, by the way, the way that kill this unit, or when it, this unit dies, summon your board, if you don't have space for that stuff, it doesn't get summoned. So, like, I'm sure that there's a good unit that wants to die, but, like, it's also not that hard to make a unit die, right? Like, I feel like we can, you can usually figure out how to do that. Your minions deal their combat damage with their current health. That is wacky. All right, well... Alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Throne of Bone. Would you be sad to see the series go? If you want to see the uh, the last character, you got to let me know in the form of comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.